he was a, a, such a dude. And I, and I would have made that film with him, really, if he had made it in a garage. There are really very precise setups in the film that are modeled very closely to the paintings, Caravaggio's paintings. I remember grips and, um, and uh, sparks telling Derek that maybe the lighting wasn't quite right in a way that I've never seen since, you know, and he was always, we, we all made the films together. It just always occurred to me to think of myself as an international artist. And when I started to meet inter uh, American independent filmmakers, um, it just felt like home. It felt much more familiar to me than the kind of industrial filmmaking that I saw happening here. They're very classical, David Siegel and Scott McGeehy, and they, they wanted to make this film as a kind of, you know, modern film noir at a time when before, I mean, it became a bit fashionable just after that, but they were really the first people who had this idea. And in terms of performance, it's not an intellectual performance, and, uh, and it was, that's the first uh, really not stylized um, performance, I think, that I had an opportunity to, to work with, and I really enjoyed it. He wanted me to do it. It wasn't my idea. <laughs> it was Andrew Adamson just had this bugbear that he wanted me to do it, and, um, and he wouldn't go away. And, so, uh, and I really, really liked him. Uh, he was a, a, such a dude. And I, and I would have made that film with him, really, if he had made it in a garage. I went to see him, and he just talked such a good picture. And because I didn't know the book, I had nothing to compare it. I just went, that's the film I want to see, and you want me to help you make it? I'm in. And you want to go to New Zealand to do it? Sweet. The director, Hilary Brocher, was a young woman who brought an idea to, to me. It was in a rough, rough form. An idea about material that I felt I'd never seen before, which was about a, a young woman who uh, is 15 and she's in denial about the fact that she's pregnant and the baby dies and she's, you know, had up for its murder. And I play a forensic psychologist who's trying to work out whether she knew she was pregnant or not. And I just found it such an interesting subject, um, particularly since the forensic psychologist is actually pregnant herself and desperate to keep the child. And there was this idea of this relationship between these two women that I was very drawn to. And so I wanted to do whatever I could to, to help her to, do, to, to make the film um, about this material. And she said, as sometimes people do, that they thought they think the best way for me to help is to be in it. I didn't particularly agree with her, but I did. I was in it because I wanted to help her make the film. Supporting films from the seeding stage has always been what I've done, but I haven't always had my name on the film as a producer. Mm -hmm. but, but I've started to do that now because it seems to be the way things you know, work, that it helps. Mm -hmm.